Alright Lunar, this one's for you. I was asked to make a tutorial on how to be good at Clash Royale, and to be honest, this one was a little bit tough. Now obviously when it comes to this game, the number one golden rule of it is to overwhelm your enemies. For example... <laughs> A few moments later... But after that, I was a little bit stumped, so I decided to look up the top tips and tricks on how to be good at Clash Royale on the most reliable source out there, WikiHow. While scrolling around, I found that WikiHow actually breaks it up into offensive strategies as well as... as well as defensive strategies and even regular gameplay tips. However, for this video, I will be covering the offensive strategies, so if you like what you see here and you want to see me cover the defensive and gameplay tips as well, then make sure to tell me in the comments and like this video as well. The first step is to be sure to have a powerful deck. So to build this deck up, we're going to use what a lot of the hip Clash Royale YouTubers call WOGs. For those of you who don't know what WOGs stands for... <laughs> for my two win conditions, I'm first going to pick Lava Hound. And seeing that Lava Hound is such a natural tank, I'm going to want to pick a heavy hitting troop to back it up. Something like Bel For my aerial defense cards, I'm first going to pick a heavier hitting Dark Goblin. And to back that up, I'm going to use something that does a little more splash. Something like Electro Dragon. For ground defense, we're using Prince and Fisherman, because obviously they're a perfect duo. And finally, for my spells, I'll be using Lightning as well as Snowball. Oh yeah, we're ready to roll. Match begins. Homie's first move is to place Inferno Tower, so I immediately put Dark Goblin in the best possible spot to chip damage away from it. Fuck it, Lava Hound in the back. Shit. Wait, what am I saying? I have Fisherman, and I put him in the wrong spot. Fucking shit. <laughs> Wait, why does this guy have two towers? Yeah. Fisherman pulls Mega Knight towards him, clearly to defend the Lava Hound. Electro Dragon and Fisherman putting some work to take that Mega Knight. What? This guy is Mini Pika 2? What is this deck? I place Prince maybe a little too far back, but that's alright, because he's going to charge up and take out that Mini Pika for us, as well as work with the Electro Dragon to take out the Mega Knight, and that's going to put in some work. Wait, what is the Inferno Tower? <laughs> Start a goal and push in the back. Well, I guess homie's given up. Never mind. Fisherman actually in the right place this time. He'll grab the hog, bring him to the tower, and cause the King Tower activation. Let's go! Up top, uh, supportive Lava Hound. Yay! Um, Fisherman, maybe you would like to get up there a little bit sooner, help out? No? Alright, cool. Oh, yay, thanks, Fisherman. Very cool. Anyways, Lightning takes out the Inferno Tower so Lava Hound can connect. Dark Goblin behind the Lava Hound, and oh my god, wait a second! Oh! Oh my goodness gracious! Perfect fucking timing for the... Oh, I'm the tank for the lava pups and the dark goblin. Oh my god, I'm touching myself later. Get out of here, you fucking skeletons. Holy shit, I'm creaming my pants right now. I don't even give a fuck about that hog. Or that fucking mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm taking the three count, bitch. Okay, maybe I care a little bit about that mini P.E.K.K.A. Yank him away. Stay the fuck away from my tower, you bitch. Back to us trying to three crown the tower. Uh, the, the lightning. Yeah, take out the fucking inferno tower. This tower is mine. You can't stop this. You know, I'm a, I'll place dark goblin. This is mine. You lost, homie. My shit. Give it to me, bitch. Yes! Yes! Fuck you, man! How the hell did I have three crowns on one with the stack? Step two. If you're stuck with a bad hand, wait for your opponent to make the first move. Got it. <laughs> Step 3. Choose a crown tower to focus on and continue attacking it. Hopping in this match, we gotta choose either left or right side, and you know what? I choose the right side. Homie sends a miner at my tower, but I immediately catch it with my archers, so that should fully defend it from getting a hit. However, it doesn't fucking do it. He gets a hit and a suicide jumper! Homie places in front of tower, and I simply cannot have that. They put Archer Queen down to defend against my expo, and then proceed to use her ability as well. <laughs> And okay, apparently she lives that. Ah, going for my kind of strat, are we? Oh wait, Night up for getting in on the tower! They place an Inferno Tower to defend my Nina. Another Miner towards my tower, and Poison will get out played, bitch! Double elixir time, that means it's time to put an expo right here at the bridge and start connecting to the tower. Once this guy dies, Ice Spear here, and he puts an Inferno Tower there, god damn it. I'll still stop it so the skeletons and the Tesla in front to block the expo. Let's fucking go, that's amazing. God damn it, he put Archer Queen, okay, well, 
Yeah, she's gonna take that out. Cool, thanks for using all the elixir, buckaroo. Now I'm gonna just set up another one! And let's see, does he have anything to defend it now? It's still that thing there and another fucking Inferno Tower. Yeah, well, I'll just put another Tesla down. How do you like two Teslas attacking your Inferno Tower, hmm? Well, if he's so concerned with defending that site, we'll throw an Expo here as a distraction at the other tower. That's right, let's see if he falls with the bait. And he puts an Inferno Tower down, but after my Expo locks, that's right, bitch, so now he's gonna be concerned. He's gonna start panicking, and I'm just gonna keep throwing shit out. Oh, fuck, he logged that, but that's okay. So, let's see, I get a bunch of damage down there, and now that's dead, I'm gonna put a Tesla up here to take out that fucking Inferno Tower. And now that that Inferno Tower is gone, another Expo is down. We place this here. He didn't even put that in range to kill my Expo, but that's gonna take that out. We're gonna keep distracting him on this side. The thing is, we're not giving up on that other side, man. Even though that that expo might be attacking the tower, we're gonna set another one up here, and now we have to go back for that tower, because remember, we picked that tower at the beginning, and we have to stick to that one. So now we, that he's panicked on that side, he's putting all his efforts in, we're gonna get this tower, that's right, this is the pro strat, I don't care about that left side, I'm winning this base race, fuck you man, this game is mine, look at this shit, too easy, I just won, right then and there, that's how you fucking do it, bitches. You just fake them out and make them think that you're going to go for one tower when you're really going for the other one. Could I have fireballed that tower? Of course. Did I want to? No! The right tower is my objective. Step 4. Get positive elixir trades. <laughs> Step 5. Prepare powerful combinations of troops. <laughs> Homing begins with the Knight at the Bridge, so I use my legendary defense right here to ensure that that doesn't get any hits on the tower. Ah, you have Bowler too. Well, plot twist of the century right here. Ah, I see our great defender has taken the offensive. Wait, that giant's also gonna connect to the tower. What the fuck? Prediction Snowball? Is he gonna do anything about that? Oh, well, I have defensive cards in cycle. Uh, you ever just defensive electro giant? Guards to defend the elixir golem. What the fuck is that tornado? You're lucky I can't punish that mister. You know what? Actually, I don't even really have to worry about it. E giant's punishing you for me. <laughs> Keep up the offense! Holy. You cannot convince me that that guy is not saying horny. Holy. Somehow we took a tower, so more offense, followed by our legendary defense, because we can't just let all dag in the tower. God forbid, am I right? So obviously, Goblin Giant's gonna take in all the work. Our giant connected, and somehow, well, how are we taking another tower? Wait! Finally, our fifth giant's gonna get some action, and wait, how do you not get pulled? Get back over there, you fuck! Yeah, that's right, yeah, you go beat him like you little bitch, you like the bones, you know you fucking like it. Anyways, giant skeletons clean up pretty nicely, which means we can finally go back to the offensive. One giant! Two giants! Oh my god, yeah, there, there's nothing he can do at this point, this dude's pretty much fucked, yep. I, what, how? How am I three crowning a guy with this day? What is good game? And for our final step, we have use synergies. What the fuck does that mean? These cards pair well with each other. Fireball and Zap, Pekka and Valkyrie, Inferno Dragon and Wizard, Balloon and Princess. Oh, well why don't you just lead off with that? Always start a match with honor. <laughs> yes! Spear goblins at the bridge, well gotta defend with the synergies. <laughs> Homie responds to that absolute Chad move by placing a knight at the bridge. I place Pekka down in defense. Let's see what happens here. Anything to this to support him? Nope. I know what deck you're playing. Oh, there's the magic archer. But wait a minute, that's not reaching the tower. <laughs> Everyone knows when you're supporting Pekka, you gotta go for the Valk push. <laughs> oh shit, well, Wizard to defend the wall breakers, and everyone knows when you place Wizard, you just gotta place Inferno Dragon as well, they're two hand in hand. Magic Archer attacking my Inferno Dragon, man, get your bitch ass out of here, dude. <laughs> oh, gotta use my Synergy Defense. <laughs> well. I might have been a bit premature with that one. Oh shit, well, uh, Valkyrie to defend the- oh shit, I was supposed to use Balloon after the princess- no! I will not fuck that up again, I'm using Pekka right after the Valkyrie, because that is how the synergies work, right? Oh, and he's playing some minor at the same time, actually that kind of works out, because he's gonna go towards him and take him out. Yeah, you get him, Pekka. There we go. Now I got a free place to put Inferno Dragon down for the knight over here, and therefore I can put Wizard soon enough behind the Pekka. Is he? No, nothing else? Alright. Wait, Fireball now, free range into the- <gasps> 
that's so amazing. And wait, now I can use Zap, actually. Wait, how is this working? What the fuck? No fucking way this is working. Uh, time to go for the classic princess balloon push? Everybody knows it works, right? Apparently. What the fuck? How is this working? Oh my god, and princess took out the dark ops. This is amazing. Your tornado's not gonna do shit, buddy. We're fucked now. Somehow I... What the fuck? What the actual fuck? How is this working? <laughs> so confused. I can respect the emoting from him, though. There is no way that shit ended up working for me, man. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching, and also, thank y'all for helping me hit 100 subscribers. I was really surprised with how the last video did, but if y'all like my content, I want to continue making stuff for you guys. So if you did like the video, please make sure to hit a like and let me know in the comments. It would really help me out a lot, and I'm trying to see if I can grow something here. Have a great night, y'all.